receiving a cancer diagnosis can turn a person's world upside down. But when a former woman of wrestling star found out she had stage four breast cancer in June of 2020, she decided to use her diagnosis to help others. Yeah, along with our good friends at the Virginia Credit Union, CBS 6's Janine Samuels and Brad Wilson visited in Dorfasm Gym to say thank you. You guys have one minute, finish it. I first met Erica Porter in October during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's it. When I stopped by the Red Room to see firsthand how she helps people move through cancer. The medical community is great at treating the disease, but they're not as great at treating the entire person. All right. I am on a mission to make sure that every single person that is diagnosed with cancer here in the Richmond community and beyond really understand the value of self-care and understand that we as individuals retain a lot of control over our treatment and our care. Inspired by Erica, we stopped by again during this month of giving, this time meeting Mindy. Now Mindy's gonna come and sit on the <laughs> box and you're gonna slip that on right above your knees who was diagnosed in 2007 with a blood cell cancer, multiple myeloma. Mindy is a champion of all champions. And you mentioned that Erica is pushing you to new limits. Erica has pushed me to do things I did not think I could do, uh, lifting certain amount of weights. And then the other day she said to me, Mindy, I know, I know you, I know you can do this. She's amazing. A great motivator. And I have to let you in on a little You're secret, Erica. I want a secret. <laughs> I like secrets. She's going to come over to the wall. All right, I want right. to know the secret. I'm yeah, counting so, her reps. All right, I want With to my let fingers. you in on a little secret. Um, you already know this, but my mom, aunt, and mom, um, grandmother, all breast cancer. Yeah. My dad, um, prostate cancer. My other aunt, pancreatic cancer. So what you're doing is so important to so many people. And CBS 6, we have a month of giving where we like to recognize people People that are giving to the community, giving of themselves, you're and that care so much. Yes. <laughs> Switch sides. And you are that person for this community, not just in Dorfasm, but everyone that you're helping, like Mindy, that have cancer. And so Absolutely. we want to say thank you to you. Oh my God. And are the you? Endorfasm oh Foundation with this $200 gift for all that you do for the community thank and you. for women and men that have cancer. You didn't know you were coming into this, <laughs> did you? I didn't have any idea. You're still squeezing your yeah. butt though. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh yes. That's amazing. Oh, thank you. Amazing. I know. Look. Surprise. There are little angels <laughs> here on earth. Little angels. Janine is a little angel. CBS 6 little angels. <laughs> Are you squeezing? You are. The, she's the squeezing. angel. Though. She's the <laughs> angel. <laughs> she's like, are you You're squeezing? Still, <laughs> still squeezing your butt. I love it. Hey, by the way, here's some more good news. The foundation has partnered with two Richmond YMCA's mm -hmm. to offer the Endorphasm Gym and the movement programs and services, expanding access to more people. And you can learn more by visiting endorphasmfoundation.org.